So comedian Michael Rappaport, who I like to call Michael Rappaport, like that's what his name sounds like, Michael Rappaport. How are you not a rapper with the last name Rappaport? The name Rappaport sounds like a random city in Virginia, Rappaport, Virginia. But anyway, Michael Rappaport ethers, cooks La Bum James up, fries La Bum James like a piece of chicken. But Michael Rappaport states that La Bum James is the fakest athlete in the league. But here's what Michael Rappaport had to say. This article is per basketballnetwork.net and the headline reads, actor Michael Rappaport says La Bum James is not who he presents himself to be. He says, quote, he's the fakest person in the league, end quote. He says, I will say, and I'll never say who, but a player in the RBA did once tell me, and the hair in the back of my head stood up when he said this. He goes, he's the fakest player in the league. He the fakest mf -er in the league, the 54-year-old comedian narrated. He goes on to say, quote, when he said it, it felt like he needed to get it off his chest, and that's all I'm going to say. And when he said it, it was almost like a therapy moment. Speaking of therapy, LeBum James needs to seek a therapist so that therapist can keep it real with him and tell him that he needs to retire. Tell LeBum James that that, that hair is not really yours. You're balding for a reason. Now, this is factual information coming directly from Michael Rappaport. We don't have to confirm his sources or get to the bottom of this and or find out if the source was credible or not or find out if this comment was true or not because we already know looking at LeBum James and his behavioral patterns, his body language, his mannerisms, the way he conducts himself. LeBum James has had a pattern of lying on television, lying in front of a screen. Le Bum James is a liar. Le Bum James is a fraud. They say that actions speak louder than words, but Le Bum James is all words and his actions tell a different story. We all could tell that Kobe Bryant put the work in. Kobe Bryant was as real as they came. Michael Jordan was as real as they come. Le Bum James is fake. Le Bum James will smile in your face, do all these fake cool little high school handshakes, but then stab you in the back and have you traded. Le Bum James is faker than a $7 bill. So his teammates under the bus pay members within the media who he has in his back pocket while being connected to the ESPNs of the world. Pay these people to call him the GOAT. Pay these people to trash and dog his teammates. Place pressure on that franchise in the front office so that he doesn't have to go to them directly and be a man and sit down with them and say, hey, I need X, Y, and Z traded. Here, rather, the media put the pressure on the front office and have the fans attacking them on social media, sending death threats, secretly doing things that affects people's livelihood, how they feed their families. LeBum James is an evil guy, and he's by far the fakest athlete of all time. He's more than fake. He's phony. Put pressure on the front office to trade certain players. That's what LeBum James does. LeBum James will pretend as if nothing bothers him. Nothing gets to him. Nothing can phase him when it comes to the fans. Remember, and I might not be saying the quote verbatim. I may not be saying the quote exactly, but remember when he lost in the finals in 2011? But remember when LeBum James lost? He said he wasn't bothered. All the people who are hating or talking trash, they have to go back to their regular jobs. They have to live their regular lives, struggling. The everyday blue collar people, the everyday working American. LeBum James says these people have to go back to their regular lives, but he's going back to his rich neighborhood in the gated community, living a good life. LeBum James trashed the everyday people. He says nothing gets to him, but then in the same breath, we'll have a fan thrown out because the fan says something mean to him, says something to him that he doesn't like. LeBum James will act like he's so tough. He's mentally tough and he has that mamba mentality. Like he's so aggressive. He's flexing after he dunks the basketball. But this is the same guy who always needs a screen to get a great defender up off of him. He act like he's so big and tough, but as soon as someone touch him, he flops. He flops. He flops. He cries to the referees, always crying for a foul. LeBum James doesn't come off as a loyal person. He's very disloyal. Left Dwayne Wade hanging, quit and went back. Used him for a championship and sold this lie to the masses as if he wanted to learn how to win from Dwayne Wade. Had Dwayne Wade traded when Dwayne Wade played for Cleveland. LeBum James is disloyal. He'll probably trade his own son. He's forcing his son, Bronny James, to play basketball. LeBum James is the fakest man ever. Pretends to read books, but the book is upside down. Can't even quote anything from the book because he didn't read the book. Pretends to be Malcolm X. Pretends to be a philanthropist. He's a great father, great businessman. And he's none of those things. LeBum James is very disloyal.
He has no loyalty to no one but himself. He's a fraud. All his rings are fraudulent. He pretended to act like Kobe Bryant was his brother, but LeBum James blood sacrificed Kobe Bryant allegedly. Took him out in a helicopter crash, allegedly. LeBum James is lying right now, pretending as if he's not on steroids, allegedly. He trafficked little girls and then tried to lie and act like he didn't know what the Diddy parties was, trying to avoid the questions, like he wasn't getting oiled up, like he wasn't telling P. Diddy, oil me daddy, as if he wasn't with the oil gang. He tried to pretend that he wasn't with the oil gang, but he was all oil gang gang when Diddy wasn't in hot water. But LeBum James will go down with Diddy. Pretty soon they're gonna lock him up like Akon. LeBum James probably played a part in the RBA vetoing the Chris Paul trade. Why? Because who stood in LeBum James way? Who advanced to the RBA finals while LeBum James was losing? In his first stint with Cleveland, LeBum James couldn't even advance to the RBA finals. And the teams that defeated him, Kobe defeated them. Kobe beat him. So LeBum James knew Hey, I got to go form a super team in order to defeat Boston. Behind closed doors, LeBum James probably went to David Stern and said, hey, veto that trade. Dwayne Wade already admitted they was terrified of Kobe Bryant. Petrified. So what would have happened if LeBum James and the Miami Heat advanced to the RBA finals? They would have went up against Kobe and Chris Paul. And Kobe would have shut LeBum James down and embarrassed them in the finals. It would have ended the conversation. It would have ended the so-called Michael Jordan and LeBum James conversation. And it would have been more about Kobe and Jordan. And LeBum James knew that. So secretly, he probably had that vetoed. LeBum James' entire career has been a lie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. LeBum James so fake, he probably secretly and privately voted for Donald Trump. That's his character. Because all of Donald Trump policies, or whatever Donald Trump is for, it benefits LeBum James. Everything. It benefits LeBum James' lifestyle. That's how weird LeBum James is. LeBum always attacks Trump or labeling him a criminal. The media labels Donald Trump a criminal, but LeBum James is no different than Trump. We should call him LeTrump James. LeBum James lies and pretends as if he don't know what's going on with the concentration camps in China. LeBum James played both sides in the Drake versus Kendrick beef. Dear LeBum James, here's a message for you. You can have all the money in the world, but having all the money in the world can't make you real. You can't buy realness.